Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about a denial of service attack, which is a kind of cyber attack in which the uh, perpetrator seeks to make a machine on a network or network resource unavailable to its intended users by temporarily or indefinitely disturbing, uh, disturb, disrupting service or services of hosts connected to the internet. And this attack is typically accomplished by flooding the targeted machine or resource with super valuable requests, a lot of requests, bunch of requests in an attempt to overload system and prevent some or all legitimate requests from being fulfilled. Now, for the uh, demonstration, I'm going to show you, uh, you know, several tools that can be, you know, used to uh, perform denial of service attack. Okay, so let's look at the tool. So we can use Metasploit Auxiliary Sync Flood, Slow Risk, HPIN3, and also Yersinia. Okay, so let me give you the demonstration. So here, I'm running Kali. Let me log on <clears throat> and I'm going to set the uh, interface card to host only so that it will not affect other machines or other network and I will set my IP oh sorry And let me ping my target. Oops, okay. Then you need to use the IP route. Uh, add. So IP route uh, default gateway to 131107.1.111. Okay. Uh, sorry, it's supposed to be route at. Okay, let me just ping. Okay, route. IP route default via 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0, then uh, device ETA0. Okay, now, so when I have the access to the uh, network or to the host, then I can proceed with the, so just an example, uh, I'm going to use the, uh, let me see, I have several machines here, so I'll be uh, trying to attack this guy. Okay, so I'm going to attack this guy, which is actually running, uh, uh, this is actually a web server. So I'm, uh, I will attack this guy. So let me just uh, log on and look at the, yeah. Let me just log on. Log into the uh, <coughs> machine. Uh, okay. <coughs> then while waiting, I'll just uh, fire up my MSF console. So here, I'm going to show you how to do the sync flood attack on a target machine, which could be anything, like for example here, SQL1 as well. Okay, so let's just log on to this one. <clears throat> and 
and then uh, let's open up the task manager and look at the actual processes yeah go to processes yeah performance okay so let's look at the performance before the attack is that perhaps 10 percent and here we will use the uh, search for the uh, sync okay so yeah here we're going to use this auxiliary dos tcp sync flood and you just type the info so this is a tcp sync flutter auxiliary what we need is the host and the spoofable source address yeah so we can do like a random so let's just use this one auxiliary eos tcp sync flood okay then you just type uh, the target our host which can which can be a range of address but in this case i'll be using one only uh 111 and then uh just type run now before i start this let me run the uh, <coughs> wireshark on my kali yeah so i'll be running wireshark on my kali so that we can also capture what happened in the background uh, okay I think I need to run the this Wireshark with the so sudo Wireshark yeah <clears throat> hmm Okay, let me just try again. Okay. So we use the ETA zero. And while running the uh, DOS tool or the attack, we'll be looking at the, yeah, see this one? So what's this? I'm not sure about the yeah 444 but let's just run this one and see what happened uh, okay you do not have permission to capture on that device uh, let me see hmm I'm not very sure on this one but uh, okay let me just exit so I'll just use the sudo MSF console yeah. <clears throat> and search for the okay so use auxiliary uh, DOS TCP sync plug okay and uh, show options at our host 131.107.1.1 and let's run this okay so we need to run the MSF console with root privilege see we got the sync flood mm -hmm. on the remote machine okay you can, you can see here a lot of uh, sync requests okay so that's the first uh, what you call this tool the second one is that I'll be using the uh, another uh, what you call this uh, auxiliary yeah so let's search for slow yeah so I'm going to use this auxiliary DOS HTTP so for this I'm going to attack other server which has the uh, port 80 and 443 open 
yeah so in this case I'll be using this let's just look at what is in fact what is this slow risk slow risk denial of service attack and yeah so let's just run this so run this by tapping use and show options you can specify the R post I'm uh, I'm targeting my web server so let's say 101 and you can just type run and see what happened on our Wireshark see it's sending TCP to 101 yeah. ah. okay that's uh, more than enough so let me just go back to the uh, this one yeah sync flood and then you can specify the host just to repeat the step so set our host so when you run this okay when you run this and you go back to the host machine being attacked yeah you're supposed to see the increase of the performance yeah Just wait for a while. Looks like uh, nothing is there. Now let's try uh, the slow risk on web server and see if we can at least get the uh, spike. Cool. So let me go, let's go back and use the slow risk. Run <clears throat> and let's see. Yeah, there is a spike, but not too much. Yeah, because uh, so far, modern operating system can, in fact, handles most of the uh, common attacks. Yeah. Okay. What if? Okay. Once we're done with this, we can also uh, run the second tool, which is the HBing tool. Or HPIN 3 so you can run this HPIN 3 uh, to do the flooding so HPIN 3 you can specify the S sync uh, scan uh, pointing to 131.107.1.111 and then you can use the spoof address of our machine uh, which is 131.107.1.252 and you can dash the uh, pipe dash dash flood oh sorry supposed to be sudo and then hping3 <coughs> so it's flooding and you can see also from our wireshark <coughs> and look at if there's any spike yeah this is good spiking yeah you can see spikes uh, how about this also spike yeah I think it was based on the previous uh, you know uh, DOS uh, what you call this uh, attack so this is the second tool so you can use hping 3 you can use the uh, DOS TCP sync flood with Metasploit and you can use the DOS HTTP slow risk slow low risk and the last part is that I want to show you a tool called Yersinia by default it's not installed on Linux I mean <coughs> on uh, uh, Kali Linux, so your senior. So if we do not have this, you can just type uh, sudo apt get install your senior. Okay, but when you have it, you just type your senior, and you can actually use the your senior dash h. <coughs> 
okay you need to use the root as well so sudo oops and there are many different types of attacks can be done uh, with Yersinia so for example Yersinia uh, can attack the following protocols like CDP, DHCP and so on and so forth yeah so uh, let's try the uh, DHCP attack so to do the DHCP attack you can just type Yersinia, sorry, sudo Yersinia, then you can specify the uh, dash attack, and then you can specify one. Uh, if you want a GUI uh, version, you can just type, yeah, so this is, um, let me see, Yersinia DHCP attack. Okay, so this is, you can see that it's sending a lot of discovery attacks. See this one here? Yeah, discovery attacks. Yeah, you'll see it later. Yeah, here it's a bit slow. And if you want to <clears throat> use the GUI version, you can just type your senior dash G. This will bring you to the GTK or the GUI version of the your senior. Okay, so you can select whether you want to use the uh, DHCP. You can select the type of uh, attack. Yeah. Like for example, okay, let me um, look at the uh, list of attack. Oh, no attack is running. So let's try the launch the attack. choose protocol to attack so we just need to select okay let's say sending DHCP discover which is actually the same as what we're doing now okay you can see that sending DHCP discover so DHCP discover is actually the um, what you call this the message sent by the uh, client request for the IP address or IP addresses and by using this denial of service attack you can actually shut down uh, the entire DHCP because the DHCP will be very busy to you know uh, accept the request from the clients and uh, once it is done uh, the DHCP will have no uh, what you call this IP address left to be you know leased by the client okay and you can see that our attack increases the CPU uh, usage up to 100% on both servers. Yeah, see this one? Okay, so to stop, of course, you need to make sure that you stop the attack. So just close it. And that's it. Yeah, so you can also stop this and stop this. And you'll see that the CPU uh, usage will be going down in a while. Okay, that's, uh, I think uh, that's all for my um, demonstration. And as you can see here, we can use Metasploit Auxiliary, uh, Sync Flood, Slow Loris. You can also use HPing3, Flood, with the Flood option, and then your senior. Okay, so thank you very much for your kind attention and uh, that's the end of my video for today. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Bye-bye.